About 10% of the world is somewhere on the LGBT spectrum. Of this 10%, at least 40% are under the age of 21. We are here to discuss what problems LGBT youth face today. Hi, I'm Jan Symes and I'm the Welfare Manager at Alton College. I run the GSA, which is sort of, sort of the college equivalent of LGBT group, um, and also I'm part of the Equality Committee group, so LGBT issues are really important there. And as a counsellor, I see quite a few students who will identify as LGBT as well. So lots of people, um, lots of young people really struggle with anxiety, especially social anxiety. And of course, college is a social place. So A, they're being judged here academically all the time. They may well be anxious about being judged by their peers. And if there is something that they then feel is going to set them aside from their peers about their gender or their sexuality, then that's something that they might feel is already is going to make things harder for them. And I think for people of my generation, it's, um, it's something really wonderful about your generation. Um, when I was born, being gay was still illegal in this country. That's a bit shocking, isn't it, really? That it was actually against the law. Um, and I didn't, I don't think I really, I remember, first of all, hearing about somebody who was tran trans, and I probably was about 19 or 20. So, and that was the first time I even sort of really probably thought about it. So, massively better. And when you think now, gosh, how awful it is sometimes, it actually, it doesn't mean to say it's got massively better so we just should, uh, you know, be grateful for what we've got, but actually believe that things can change and things can get better. Many students face bullying and prejudice among their peers. A study done by the LGBT Foundation found that 75% of LGBT youth were bullied while in education. What's your name? <laughs> Charlie. How old are you? 17. What's your sexuality? Homosexual. Um, when, when I first came out, I came out to my parents first, um, and that was all pretty good. Uh, they basically told me that they were fine with it, they were all okay with it, and to just be myself. And then about a year later, uh, I came out more publicly, and I chose to do that over social media to kind of get it done um, and just kind of like tell everyone. Um, but yeah, and then so I received a really positive um, feedback from that so yeah yeah generally when you look at the media there's no one um, that particularly I feel like represents me or represents any gay people I know um, they're usually hyper like hyper stereotyped um, in like TV shows and stuff um, and not really representative of people it's always played up on their sexuality I personally didn't really have any um, gay role models to look up to as a child and I still don't um, I kind of just went off myself and kind of like, um, you know, my own personality. I didn't really kind of like look up to anyone because there wasn't really anyone particularly to look up to. Roughly 1% of the world population is transgender or identifies with another gender than what they were born as. In the UK, 1 in 10,000 people identify as transgender. Of this number, 82% reported being bullied either physically or verbally. We are speaking to Ryan, a 17-year-old trans boy, on what it is like growing up transgender. Uh, I think gender is more about uh, how you feel and uh, how you see yourself, and so therefore how you present yourself to everyone else and how you want everyone to see you, compared to, uh, sorry, rather than what you've actually, you know, what you've actually got, what your body is. I think that society as a whole they put a lot of pressure on genders you know you've always got girls you know pink barbie baby dolls and boys it's like blue you know cars action mans all that sort of thing um i feel like as kids there is a lot of pressure put on you know us as kids to be a certain way we have to fit into the box of girl or boy and if we don't, then it, we're a bit weird and a bit abnormal. But in actual fact, we're not. It's just 
a thing. No one really fits into a box because we're people, we're all completely different. You can't put any two people in the same box because they are not going to be identical. When I came out, it was very, very strange. Uh, I first came out to my friends. And they were completely accepting of it. I was actually quite surprised. Uh, but they were, I wouldn't, I don't want to say understanding. They didn't really understand it fully, but they were accepting of the fact and willing to learn more about it. Uh, my family, there were mixed reactions. Like uh, my uh, my grandparents and my mum's side, they were fi they were completely fine with it. You know, completely positive. They always said, if that's how you feel you are, then that's how you are, and you can't help it. Whereas more like my parents were all a bit like, uh, not really sure what it was, and some of them thought it was a bit more attention-seeking side. So yeah, there's very mi mixed reactions there. I mean, role model-wise, like, I suppose, mm, no, I wasn't, no, I was more of a, myself kind of person I mean I looked up to various celebrities just because of where they came from and what they've made with their life that was more about I, I can do anything I want to if I put my mind to it that wasn't anything to do with the whole gender thing coming out as gay in addition to coming out as transgender was very weird because if people didn't understand what being transgender was they were never going to understand what my sexuality was um, my sexuality seems straightforward, you know, it's it's just being gay. But there's also the fact that being gay to a man is being attracted to men. A lot of people didn't see me as a man, so therefore being attracted to men made me straight. But that's, yeah, it was, I mean, some people got it, some people didn't. What can you do?